I'm here at uh, Fantasy Con in the wonderful Golden Jubilee Hotel here in uh, Sunny Clyde Bank. We are drinking Sinister Horror Company wine, but we're not here for a wine launch, we're here for a book launch, specifically the launch of My Dead and Blackened Heart by Andrew Freudenberg. Uh, hello, Andrew. Hello. Uh, My Dead and Blackened Heart, that's quite a, that's quite a title. Uh, how, did, uh, how did you come up with that one? Um, I'm not sure initially, it's actually the title of uh, one of the stories in the hardback edition. Right. Um, I think it just seems to sum up the misery of the protagonist in the story. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually a story about uh, a vampire, I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, and he is indeed dead, and his heart has been blackened by the grim events of his life. <laughs> misery, is that a common theme to much of the, the work? Um, yes, I think so. Yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I think horror is fairly mired in, in misery. It's not usually a, a happy thing. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I think uh, grimness abounds pretty much throughout. Uh, you said this is your first, your debut horror collection. That's right, yeah. yeah. I've written quite a lot of uh, shorts in various different collections and anthologies, but this is the first time, thanks to Justin and the Sinister Horror Company, that I've stuck them all together. <laughs> How do you feel to be launching this into the world today? Good, I think. A bit nervous, but yeah, good. You read a story earlier, um, a very evocative piece set in the, yeah. uh, just the Blitz. Yeah. Is that common to... Is that the kind of thing that uh, the other, other stories are like? They all sort of period pieces? Is that the uh, they're all over the place, to be honest. I do quite like the war setting. As someone pointed out earlier, actually, you're, it's horror already before you start it. Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, there's a couple that are just set around the Second World War, uh, but then there's contemporary settings. Uh, the Dead and Black and Heart is uh, more of a Victorian setting, I think. So all over the place, really. But I do quite like war settings as a. It's like I say, it's bonus grim before you've even started. <laughs> and as a horror writer, do you, are there any other themes that you've noticed that that you keep coming back to, particularly when you're putting this together, this collection? Have you noticed any? Anything that uh, this seems to be common in among your the kind of stories you gravitate towards. Yeah, well, certainly I think with this collection, there's certainly a few where pa it's parents are suffering. I mean, the story that I read earlier on, it's a guy looking for his missing daughter, mm -hmm. um, and there are other stories where a couple where where children are are missing or. Uh, Something's happening to their parents, which might put them in peril. So I think that's a theme that's sort of come out. That's for many people. That's the worst kind of, of terror imaginable, really. The, the, the idea of something happening to their children or, or for a child happening to their parents. I think so. I mean, I've got three, three kids, youngish. So I guess it's at the back of my mind. Uh, you said. Uh, the, the story that the title comes from relates to the, the hardback. What, what, what can you tell us about the difference between the hardback and the paperback versions? Uh, the hardback's got three bonus stories, um, including, as I said, the, the, title, the title story. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got a, a small piece that I wrote about the influences on the various stories in the paperback. That's interesting. That sounds quite unusual. How did you, uh, whose idea was that? to have the bonus features. Yeah. I think it's something that Sinister have done before. Um, and it just made sense to offer the buyer of the hardback some, some bonus features, terrible phrase. But, yeah. the, the, you'll get the hardback. Value right. uh, for money. Yes. <laughs> um, and what can you tell us about the, the cover? It's quite a distinctive uh, cover. Um, well, oddly enough, it was drawn by my son, uh, Xavier, who, uh, when he started school at the age of about four or five, was asked to draw a self portrait. <laughs> <laughs> and this is what he made, what he produced. Yeah, 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 and we were kind of stood around going, okay. Um, it's, he did it in, uh, it's charcoal, I think just charcoal. Um, and it's just such a striking image, I, boy, I immediately thought, God, that, was, that would look good on the front of the book. Now he's famous as well. Exactly. Yeah. 
the Freudenberg family. Uh, and so if people uh, people can uh, get a hold of this book at any future sinister horror con uh, appearances, company appearances, um, but also at uh, Amazon, or I noticed you can order it from the from Waterstones and the like as well. Okay, yeah. there you go. And uh, get the hardback. Definitely. <laughs>